Hi guys! It's been a really long time since I filmed the video. So don't mind me while I'm just awkward over here. Um, I wanted to come to you guys with a brand new styling video um, because I've been using these products for quite a while and I don't know why I haven't filmed a video about it yet. Um, I have done like videos on my Instagram and stuff about it, but um, I haven't actually had like the chance to do a YouTube video of a full styling video for the products that I'm talking about today. So as you can see in the title, um, I'm going to be talking about the Briogeo Curl Charisma line. The shampoo and conditioner um, I used for the first time today and I actually did really enjoy them. Um, I do feel like the shampoo is more on the cleansing side, so if you don't like a squeaky clean feeling, stay away from that. It is a runnier consistency. Um, the conditioner is awesome and really makes sure to balance out the cleansing of the shampoo um, and really does give the hair a nourishing feel, um, but it doesn't leave it too slippery. Um, and I'm using the cream and the gel in conjunction today to style my hair. Um, so I use the leave-in defining cream and then the um, control gel. I'm almost out of the gel. Um, because I use more gel than cream, um, but I'm going to be repurchasing the gel just so I can get through the cream. Um, but I do really enjoy these products. The styling products I've been using for a while, like I mentioned, um, over a year. Um, and then the shampoo conditioner I will continue to use until they're out um, and just see how I like them. Um, but I really do like how my hair turns out when I wash with Briogeo. Um, I've also used their scalp scrub and their deep conditioner. Um, which I think I already mentioned, but you know, pregnancy brain and all. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and I hope it's helpful to see how I style my hair. Um, and as you guys know or should know, Briogeo is actually black owned. So in purchasing products from Briogeo, you are supporting a woman black owned company. Um, so if you can buy though directly from Briogeo, that's probably what I would do. Sephora is questionable um, and also their point system sucks um, but I just wanted to come to you guys with a video um, and I know that it's been a long time and I have been pretty vocal on um, my Instagram about everything that's going on um, with Black Lives Matters and all of that so if you want to know kind of my opinion about that um, I have posted about that on my page um, and I'm sorry that I haven't been on YouTube um, talking about that here um, but I do take a more educational approach and obviously I support black lives um, and so I just wanted to mention that before I started the video um, because that is very important to me and something that is very close to my heart so I just wanted to get that out there before I <laughs> finish the video so um, because I will forget my pregnancy brain is kind of weird um, I didn't film an update yet, but I just realized that I did actually post my gender reveal. So if you guys missed that, you can go watch that. Um, that was quite a few weeks back, but I am six months pregnant. Um, so as you can see, um, that kind of changes my <laughs> styling just a tiny bit. So um, I hope you guys enjoy the video. And if you guys have any questions, please leave them down below um, or just holler me at Instagram because I'm usually on there all the time. Um, and yeah, I'm still in cosmetology school. We did do long or long distance, uh, distance learning for about eight weeks during quarantine. Um, and then they cut us off at the eight week mark and we just didn't do anything for about a week or two, I think. And so now my graduation date has been pushed back, um, closer to November now. So that's just a little update about my life. Um, and now we are no longer taking clients. So our school is open and we are still working on each other. But as of Monday, we are no, lo no longer taking clients in the clinic. Um, so we'll be getting more hands-on and stuff in school. So I will eventually post a video about my experience at Aveda Institute um, and all of that uh, and what all that entails and about my kit and about the products and all that stuff and how I feel about the school. Um, but I will wait until I graduate just to kind of give a full review of everything um, once I have all my thoughts together. So I will see you guys in the video. I've made this longest intro of life, but it has been a really long time since I filmed a video. 
so sorry if I'm rambling. Um, and also this is a talk through video, so it's going to be one of the longer ones, um, but I hope that it is helpful and you guys see why I choose to do the things that I do um, in the video. So I will see you guys next time and here is my shower head. Guys, so now that I've gotten out of the shower, um, basically I put my hair into a shower cap. Um, it has dried a little bit just because um, I did hop out of the shower, do my makeup. Um, it is still pretty soaking wet. So since I'm recording, I am using a flower sack towel. Um, usually I do this quick enough to where I don't need to put something on my shoulders um, just because it's usually faster if I'm not talking through it. Um, but I do want to make sure my hair is pretty wet for when I start styling my hair. Um, just because I don't want it to have any tangles while I'm styling it. So today I shampooed with the uh, Brio, well I shampooed and conditioner with the Brio Geo Curl Charisma line. This is the first time I used it today. The shampoo is very cleansing. So if you aren't someone that likes a squeaky clean scalp, um, it's probably not for you. Um, they do have a co-wash in their line, but I haven't used it. And they do have other lines within Riogio that um, uses different shampoos and stuff. Like they have like a green one and a yellow one. Um, and then like a pink one, I think. Um, but I got the Curl Charisma line. Um, I have been using these products though, which is the cream and the gel for over a year now. I've had them since like March of 2019. Um, so these products I have a lot of experience with and I use them the same way that I used to use my Diva Curl stuff. Um, so I apply the cream first on soaking wet hair and then I apply the gel afterwards. And I'll show you guys how I apply the cream. Um, but as far as the shampoo goes, it is a more runnier consistency. Um, so if you like a runnier shampoo that you can really get through your whole scalp, that's great. Um, I have tried their scalp scrub in the past, but I don't typically have issues with my scalp. Um, but it does feel really good and it does tingle just a tiny bit. And their deep conditioner, uh, the Don't Despair Repair, is also one of my favorites and is awesome for damaged hair. Um, which I have because my hair is lightened since the last time I saw you guys, which was so long ago. Um, I did lighten my own hair. Um, I'm in cosmetology school, so... I kind of couldn't help myself. I lightened my own hair in March, like at the very beginning of quarantine. Um, and then I just kind of let it grow. I am going to re-lighten it um, sometime soon. Um, but I kind of wanted to do this video just because I've been using these products for a while. Um, and my routine has changed just a little bit from what I used to do before, um, which was just like flipping over and applying the products. Now I am uh, raking the products through quite a bit. Um, to make sure that I'm that they're evenly saturated just because my hair is a lot longer now um, And I have had a couple of haircuts Since the last time I saw you guys, which has been quite a while um, I'm gonna film an update for you guys um, Or maybe I will put one up before this video goes up um, I'm just re-wetting my hair and I'm just using a regular water bottle. Just the top because it has dried just a little bit. Also, just ignore my nails. I don't have thumbs. Um, and I can still feel the cleanliness of my scalp. Um, even after applying conditioner. The conditioner is a thicker consistency as well, which I really like. Um, and I was able to comb through my hair um, and figure to tingle, but I prefer using a wet brush like this one. This is the Wet Brush Pro, um, and it does have flexible bristles. Um, and I prefer something that doesn't have a cushion for in the shower. Um, if I ever feel the need to detangle my hair outside of the shower, um, I will use the regular wet brush. Uh, this works good on dry hair as well. I don't prefer this on dry hair. This is strictly what I use in the shower with conditioner in my hair or with deep conditioner in my hair in order to detangle. I also use this for my daughter. Um, it's just a faster way to detangle in the shower because I don't have a whole lot of time. So I'm going to go ahead and apply the Curl Charisma 
defining cream. Um, and I'm using about that much for this side and I'm emulsifying it first in my hands. And as you can see, I don't apply a lot of product to my roots. The reason for that is that I do like to keep my hair pretty voluminous, um, but raking it through just makes sure that I get even saturation because I do have quite a bit of hair um, and it is on the thicker side, meaning I have a lot of density, which means I have a lot of hairs per square inch, but I also have thicker strands. Um, some of it is on the medium side. I'm just applying a little bit more to the top. And as you can see, my fingers are running quite easily through my hair. I did not use a leave-in before this. It was just water that I sprayed out to my hair, which helps the product just slip right through. And I'm not parting my hair either, making sure that I can move the part around once it's dry. Especially now that it's long, I don't want to make the mistake of parting my hair. And if I find myself catching any tangles, like you can see up here, it's a little bit harder for me to get through. Um, I will just add more water. And I'm applying more product to the top part anyway, so. I also apply a lot more gel than cream when it comes to this line, just because the cream is very concentrated. So is the gel, but I'm a gel person as it is. So I'll show you guys how much of the gel I used to. And as you can see, my hair is a lot longer than the last time I filmed. going to do it for the cream and I'm still kind of raking through the product. So now for the gel, um, this has a lot less in it because I use a lot more of it. See, I'm almost out. I'm going to repurchase this though. I really do enjoy it. Um, and I do find that it's very similar to Diva Curl's Ultra Defining Gel. Um, so I'm going to just flip my head over and then apply the gel and scrunch. So I'm just glazing it over and scrunching it in. And I'm not all the way flipped over because I'm six months pregnant, almost six months pregnant, whenever this video goes up. Um, I think it'll be six months in like two weeks. So I don't quite flip over all the way. Cause at this point I get pretty winded just cause it's like summer and so hot here. Um, but as you can see, I do get quite a bit of definition. Um, also, I know a lot of people don't rake their product through. I prefer that just because I have so much hair. Um, it just makes things quite easy for me to maintain the definition and still keep my volume. So I already applied what I'm going to apply before I air, before I blow dry, sorry, before I diffuse my hair. Um, because this gel does have like a dry down that's pretty quick. Um, like my hands are already dry, like they're not sticky at all. Um, these products are super lightweight, like I don't really have to wash my hands after I use them. Um, so I'm going to 
diffuse my hair and I'm not going to do it on video because I already have a video showing how I diffuse my hair and that really hasn't changed um, except for the fact that now because my hair is lightened I don't do much hover diffusing I kind of just go straight into diffusing um, but hover diffusing works great especially if you have like medium hair um, or long hair even but if it's not as porous So I am going to start diffusing and I'll show you guys about halfway through what my hair looks like. Um, let me just show you guys what it looks like now. So actually I'm going to scrunch it just a little bit more. So I'm going to start diffusing and then I will show you guys if I decide to apply any more product because with the gel I usually will add it a little bit more just about halfway through um, once I'm drying just because I like to get a little bit extra of a cast um, just with this specific product. Um, I'll usually do that with my other products too but it just depends on what I'm using. Um, so I will be right back after I'm about halfway diffusing and I'll show you guys. Okay, so I'm back. Um, I diffused my hair for about 10 minutes. It's still pretty damp. Um, the ends are a little bit on the drier side just because my hair is a little bit more porous there. Um, it's where it's been lightened the most, but as you can see, because I did uh, rake my product through and really made sure I saturated the ends and the rest of my hair, um, you can see that it still retained quite a bit of the moisture, so it does still feel pretty soft. Um, I'll show you guys the back. I still didn't part my hair, but as you can see, it kind of decided where to go, and I typically just let it do whatever. Um, but I am going to add a little bit more of the gel uh, because I don't have a cast, and it's not that I need a cast, um, but I do want to make sure that I have enough product on there um, just so that when I do scrunch out the crunch that I do get, um, I can make sure that it is going to stay. I always lose my train of thought when I'm like making videos, guys. Sorry. It's much worse now that I'm pregnant again. So as you can see, um, I don't get like really ringlets or anything like that. Um, especially not if I am raking my product through um, but I do prefer that look because it does break up my hair um, to give me more volume just because I don't prefer a really like defined um, like I don't really like a really defined look um, especially because I have wavy hair um, so I do like quite a bit of volume. My hair doesn't naturally grow outward. It does grow downward. Um, like as you can see, the root is pretty straight. Um, and also because my hair is longer, it is on the heavier side. So I do want to maintain as much volume as possible. So that's why I will diffuse from wet to dry. Um, this has been about 10 minutes that I diffuse. So I'm going to um, finish diffusing and then I'll come back and show you guys um, when I scrunch out the crunch. <laughs> All right, so once you're sweating and your hair is completely dry, um, you can go ahead and fluff it a little bit. Um, like I said, this isn't going to give you a super hard cast, at least on my hair it doesn't. Um, it gives me quite a soft cast and I can be aware I did it jacked all the way. What's freaking new here? If you're new to my channel, <laughs> I often don't dry my hair all the way. I know, right? I'm a hairstylist and I don't even do that. Okay, so once I fluff my roots, and what I'm doing is I'm just putting my hands through and just kind of shaking them loose, and that'll give me just a loosening effect at the root to make sure that I have 
all the hair off my scalp. Um, but because I didn't really put product there, I'm not gonna get like the flat roots um, that I see a lot. So I'm just gonna use um, flat hands to smooth out the crunch. Um, and I'm also gonna do just some scrunching. And if ever you do get a super hard cast, um, you can always clap out the crunch as well. I honestly don't know where everyone comes up with these like ways to do things, but I've seen that done too and it totally works. I think actually that might be from Allison, the Real Life Curly Girl. And I prefer a little bit of frizz, so I'm not too worried about messing with it too much. Um, I didn't actually root clip. I hardly ever root clip, but I have been having an issue with flatness at the root here when I part my hair in the middle, so I do prefer a side part um, because since my hair is growing um, quite a bit because of the hormones as well as I'm taking prenatals, obviously, um, just my growth pattern is a little bit odd, so it curves in like weird ways that make my hair look flat in some places so as you can see I get really good results with these products um, and that's why I enjoy them so much um, it's something that I gravitate I gravitate, I gravitate towards because I do prefer volume um, I always have I love the care um, and it leaves me with just soft hair um, that will last throughout the days. Um, I can usually get like three or four days out of a Briogeo, a Briogeo uh, wash day. So as you can see, um, and these straight pieces is just because my hair is damaged, just being realistic here. Um, but as you can see, it still curls quite a bit. Um, I'll show you guys the back. And the volume will go down just a little bit, but I do fluff my hair quite a bit, um, just going through my day. So that's it. Um, pretty simple to apply these products. Um, there's nothing magical about my routine. <laughs> it's just a matter of good products um, that are lightweight that will still uh, maintain my volume and still give me quite a bit of definition. But that is all for this video guys um, I hope that it was helpful to see how I've been applying my products now that my hair is a little bit longer um, and you can see how my hair has changed over time so thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video Bye.